Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Active morning around, around here at the Dreamers Landing here. Hold on, we got a coffee delivery coming. Incoming. Good job, son. That was a good job. I was just waiting for you to cut if right. If you in front. find me something cold to drink, boy, me and you'd be down like four flat tires without a can of fixie flat. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew Jacob was gonna walk right in front of us. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's he's done a, I would say all the kids have done a lot better at learning camera etiquette and stuff like that. And uh, they're getting pretty excited because they do have their own YouTube futures to think about because they are super interested in it. Yep, yep, ain't nothing to it but to do it. They're definitely surrounded around it. So all the knowledge is right there for them to grab. They just gotta grab it. Uh, uh oh, let me see if you, see what do you got me? 10 to one. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> you already, you Hopefully guys. Hopefully it ain't the last one because I ain't trying to uh, go toe to toe and box heavy like Mike Tyson with Lissa. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'll lose. Huh. Well, we got a break in the rain. Break in the rain and sun shining, surprisingly. Yeah, man, this weather has been <laughs> insane. You can't count on the meteorologist stuff for nothing. It'll say it's going to rain all day, then it ends up being a beautiful day, and then the day that it's supposed to be beautiful, it ends up raining. It has thrown me off. Yeah. this week i mean I, I was able to get a lot done not so much for myself but for other people uh, i was able to help uh gary with junk to gems yesterday um, i was able to help bobblehead the other day i got to hang out with the subscribers on monday um they're on come on mountain so it was a community week for me yeah community week but uh i am uh exactly Seven days from Levi showing up on Come On Mountain. Ooh, man, mm -hmm. I'm excited to see Levi again. I'm a uh, me too. I can't believe it's only seven day countdown. I got Wednesday down here at my feet. Hi, I'm muddy, and muddy I'm Wednesday. Muddy and getting me all wet. And <laughs> <laughs> she's guarding me, is what she's doing. She's our remember. Uh, she's our guard dog. Uh, Okay, okay, no. Just wants to play. She is guarding whoever can she, play the she most. She ain't guarding nothing but playtime. <laughs> that, that, that's it. She is tripled in size. Yeah, she has gotten big. Yeah, she has tripled in size since we did the... Okay, I'm recording. Go, go. You're, it wouldn't be bad if she wasn't soaking wet. The boys said. were actually supposed to uh, take her with them. They're on a mission right now. Lissa has put the boys on a mission collecting rocks. Mm. And uh, she was supposed to go to work with them. She went to work with Jacob earlier. That's why she's all muddy. I wish I had somebody I could put on a mission to go get me some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bunch of them. I want to go to put rock all the way around the rock area. Right. And uh, that's a lot of rock. Okay. Okay. You're getting me just muddy and dirty. Wednesday, come over here. And you're so cute. But Wednesday, come here. I'm not really dressed for that quite yet. <laughs> not quite yet this morning. Speaking so, of uh, of work, uh, yep. how about the backdrop behind us right here? Yep. Ugh. Somebody fit to be on the bad end of an auger again. Good news is that I only have 10 holes to dig. Yeah. So that's a positive. That's still a lot. <laughs> that's still a lot here in these old rocky mountains. Oh, even better news. I have assistance on digging these holes and somebody who hasn't had a chance to dig a hole here in Arkansas, they're actually excited and I'm gonna trick them. Yeah, um, <laughs> and we have warned this particular person uh, that it's not easy to dig around here, but uh, they thought they could just get a shovel and go at it. And I think he tried, right? I think he tried once. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see that myself. Um, if he loves it so much, I've got a million I need up there. <laughs> I mean, he can come over anytime he wants. It's a, it's a, it'll be a little practice for him because, you know, he's got something uh, pretty big going on over there. If you guys haven't realized yet, we're talking about our friend Gumby with Junk the Gems Homestead. Where I was at yesterday. Yeah. We, um... He's got some practice that he needs because he's got something big coming on his channel. So I figure, hey... You can get some practice all you want right here, Bubba. I got holes that need to be dug. <laughs> yep. Uh, matter of fact, we went and got that, what he's about to do yesterday. Do they know what it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, the power pole. I didn't want to yeah. say it because I didn't know if y'all had talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually going to be on my video today. 
Mm, Matter of fact, okay. I wanted to come on Homestead. And that'll probably be coming out around three, uh, two, three, four, five, somewhere around there. I know that's a big window. I'm like one of those uh, cable companies. We'll be here in between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this big girl. She's such a big girl. Yeah, I told him she ain't gonna garden nothing. Yeah. <laughs> she she ain't garden nothing. Next Just week. Playing. Next week, uh, depending on weather, will be uh, Wednesday. Go to go to work week. Oh, go to work. Time to go garden the goats. Time to go up there and at least get her introduced to the goats again. And, you know, put her around the different animals just so that she can have a chance to be in the presence and not just be in the presence of our dogs. Because our dogs are high prey driven dogs. They are ready to eat animals. And Wednesday, with her being uh, the Anatolian Shepherd uh, Great Pyrenees mix, uh, the Anatolian Pyrenees. Or would it be called the Great Shepherd? Yeah. Shepherd. The Great Anatolian. Nice. You have, fun? Uh, you have your phone with you? I do. Why don't you pull up that flyer? Ah. And uh, we are two weeks away, guys, from the meetup. Man. There at, uh, for the River Valley, Blue Mountain Lake uh, Homesteaders Meetup. They're in Waveland at Blue Mountain Lake. And uh, so a lot of stuff is starting to get finalized. Uh, schedules, times, all of that other stuff. And uh, I'm going to get Mike to go over some of that now. Uh, if you are coming to the meetup, I want you to leave it in the comments. That would be cool. That that, that yeah. would that is something that I didn't. I started doing a couple of months ago, and I just really got off track of doing. I would really love to have a list of people to confirm who is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, if you guys could leave it in the comments, if you do plan to come to the meetup, that would be great. <clears throat> so this is a. Uh, this is it. This is the final itinerary. This is what's going down. This is all the what's happening right here. Arkansas River Valley Homesteaders Meetup. It is May 17th, 18th, and 19th. Uh, that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, with most of the focus being that Saturday. Uh, it is at Blue Mountain Lake, Waveland Park, Havana, Arkansas, and that's the address. There is no numbered physical address if you're looking it up for Google Maps or Maps purposes, you will just search Blue Mountain Lake, Waveland Park, and it's going to just pop up Havana. And you'll click it, it'll take it right to it. Um, Friday at 3 p.m., we're going to start a meet and greet. So from 3 to 6 p.m., if you guys want to have a chance to be able to have a more personal conversation with your favorite YouTuber or get a chance to meet everybody in the fram, or you know, have a normal conversation, Friday is gonna be the best day to do it because we are gonna be slammed busy Saturday. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be on the water alone for three or four hours. Yeah. So, so I won't even be available um, a good portion of Saturday. Yeah. Um, and then uh, also after, uh, after the meet and greet goes down at six o'clock on Friday night, I'm still gonna be there. Uh, and some other select people will still be there as well. And we're, I'll still be there. For and, uh, a while. and we're gonna do a dinner. We're gonna throw some things on the grill and, uh, and just see what happens at, at that point. The big day will be Saturday, May 18th. That's when everything is really going down. And it's gonna be starting off at eight o'clock, 8 a.m. community breakfast. And this is gonna be no charge. Everybody eats free uh, until the food's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we even have a menu for you. Yep. Um, Junk to Gems, uh, our friend Gummy, is going to be preparing some biscuits and sausage gravy. Uh, an awesome subscriber has reached out to them and already volunteered to purchase, I think they got like 15 pa uh, packets of the white sausage gravy mix, and he's going to get like 20 pounds of sausage and fry it up and stuff like that. We're going to get that rolling. Uh, and then between us and Bobble and 41.36, we got enough eggs to smart, start a small factory. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah we, could, we, could, we could do some egg packaging. Uh, we're also going to follow the eggs up with some, you know, some bacon and some uh, sausage links or sausage patties or something like that too as well. So that'll be great breakfast. That's uh, amazing breakfast. Something else that I haven't uh, put a bow on yet but I'll be leading up to is uh, like coffee. We'll have coffee and uh, orange juice and stuff like that also. And then we're going to give you guys about a good hour and a half to go ahead and eat and chill and get ready because at 9.30 a.m. Saturday, we got our first speaker 
Come on with the come on, come on. Kicking <laughs> off the festivities. <laughs> um, and we're going to be going three speakers in the morning, three speakers in the afternoon. It's a total of sp six speakers on Saturday. Uh, and we're going to be doing in hour blocks. Now, just because we're going in hour blocks doesn't mean we're going to have an hour's worth of speaking. We are going to be doing 20 to 45 minute blocks. So he's going to give you at least 20 minutes. But you know, once he gets going, he's going to get going. So we're going to also it'll be the kickoff. Yeah. So I, I, I'm. You're going to want to. I'm sure I'll be, yeah. I'll be thanking everybody. I will uh, probably be giving a rundown of this this itinerary for everybody. Yep. Um, I'm thinking mine's going to be more of, okay, this is what we're doing. Uh, you know, this kicks off the day. Thank you, everybody. Kind of introduce people, you know, all that other kind of stuff. And then uh, pass it along because the reason why I'm going first, and I think, what, Gary's next? Yeah, right right after him, uh, running up after him is going to be uh, Gary. SLR. or uh, Well, Simple Life Reclaimed, Melanie yep. and Gary. and uh, uh, Because me and Gary are the fishing contest uh marshals overseers yes marshals i like that yep. i like um, that so as soon as uh gary gets done uh with slr uh me and him will head down to the boat ramp and we will uh there will be a sign on sheet that'll be something else i'm talking about is the fishing tournament whenever i'm speaking mm -hmm. but uh there will be a sign up sheet and stuff that I have the rules and regulations on it and stuff like that. Just take a picture of it with your phone if you have any questions about the regulations. Because yep. I'm not printing nine million of them yeah. and then having to pick them up uh, Sunday afternoon for six years right. yeah. around the park. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're going to use that technology, guys. We're like going to use that technology. But there'll be a sign-up sheet with with the uh, you know where you pay and everything else to get into it. Uh, I believe kids what 17 and under are free. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, anyone 17 and under are going to be free for the fishing tournament. Yeah, there is a, 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 a youth competition and an, an adult competition. Um, the prizes will be a fishing kayak for the adults and a just normal size type kayak for the kids. That's yeah, there's, a, there's actually a, a first, second, and third yeah. place uh, prizes uh, for, for both adults and for youth. Uh, first place for the adults is obviously going to be a fishing kayak, and that is donated by uh, our biggest uh, here local sponsor with Tractor Supply in Boonville. So thank yep. you guys so much. They're donating a fishing kayak for first place winner for the adults. I'll be there tomorrow to get some tubing. Nice. Uh, second place is going to be a rod and reel combo, and third place is going <coughs> to be a $25 uh, like Visa gift card type deal. Basically, you're winning your money back for the entry fee. Uh, and for the youths, they're going to be very similar in prizes. A youth kayak for first place. Second place will be a rod and reel. And third place will be a $20 Visa gift card. And there will be one from Come On. I'm going to buy something. I'm not going to say what it is. Um, for the youth, because um, y'all know I'm all about them children. And uh, whichever youth catches my eye, it's going to be to my discretion. Whichever one I see out there hustling and fishing hard and or having the best time, or, or, or whatever, or, or, you know, just whatever I see that kind of exemplifies, you know what I mean, like really going after it, right. you know what I mean, I'm all about kids going like after that. it, and, you know, putting in the work, and all that other stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm actually going to, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to uh, do a little special gift for that, nice. um, I, I'm not going to say what the gift is the whole day, uh, it'll be a surprise at the award ceremony. Nice. And the, the fishing tournament uh, won't start until 1130. And, uh, and at 1130, also, Country Road Cure will be uh, giving their uh, presentation. Now, also, I have no idea what anybody will be talking about, what anyone's presentation is going to be. It's all going to be up to, uh, in particular, channels on what they want to discuss. And, uh, and, and like I said, keep in mind that just because we're doing hour blocks doesn't mean that it's going to be an hour worth of talking. Uh, they, the, each individual might only give a 20-minute presentation, and then that'll just leave more time for other activities because there's going to be a ton of other activities, guys. I'm talking about there's going to be things. Uh, dang, and you know what? On my flyer here, I need to readjust because I don't see too many activities on here, so I'm glad I haven't yeah. officiated Finalize that, that, finalized this flyer yet. Um, let me well... While you're talking about it, go ahead and give a rundown on some of the activities. You don't necessarily have good times. Yeah. Uh, um, and well, all these activities are going to be going on pretty much 
o almost at the same time. Um, it's all going to be... Tim's calling. He don't ever work. Yeah. <laughs> he always calls me while I'm working. Um, there will be lots of activities for kids and, and some activities for everybody. And uh, these activities are not limited to... Uh, we're going to have face painting. We're going to have egg, an egg toss uh, match. We're going to have a balloon wall with darts uh, where you throw the darts at the balloon wall, kind of like at a carnival. I'm not blowing them up. Hey, hey I actually got a pump for that. Ah, nice. <laughs> um, and whenever, you know, if you can uh, pop the balloon, you know, you'll win a prize or something like that. Uh, we're also going to be having a jump house. Uh, this jump house is not limited to kids. So if you want to get in there as an adult and jump your life away, you are more than welcome. Just make sure that you be mindful of kids when they're in there. Correct. Yeah, we probably won't let the adults jump with the kids. We probably yeah. will, uh, you know, if the adults might do a late jump. night adult jump. Ooh, I like that. You know because we I mean? are we are going to be uh, being able to keep these overnight. Yeah. <laughs> do a night night jumping. Um, we're going to have a cornhole. We're going to have some a horse cornhole. Co what cornhole? <laughs> we're also going to have a couple things of horseshoes set up. Maybe some uh some, some limbo competition, arts and crafts. Uh, Jamie with or works little field uh, thought about doing maybe like a musical chairs uh, and like prizes being like cakes and stuff like yeah. that she, she doesn't know if she's gonna do that or not cakes and cookies I'm trying to poke her at it hey well poke her at it I'll make some cookies hey. for her. do you want some come on get cookies come on come on make some cookies now now we have two activities that are going to be going on and that are going to be some pretty exclusive activities these are going to be some activities that you don't typically see at meetups, but you do see them at fairs and stuff. We're going to be having a dunk tank where you can dunk your favorite YouTuber. Um, now, each person may not be in the dunk tank. You know, uh, I do believe Mama V requested not to be in the dunk tank, so we are not going to be able to dunk Mama V. Uh, however, we are going to get a chance to dunk your favorite come on with the come on, and you can make the drifter go down. Uh, I believe um, some uh, Drew is definitely going to be involved in the dunk tank. We all want to dunk Drew. Um, and you're going to be able to dunk your favorite YouTuber. It is going to be a $5 donation. Yeah. Um, but you're going to get three balls. So for $5, you'll be able to get three throws, and you can make someone go down three times. Or you and might have and to remember, again. guys, all of the proceeds for this uh, will be going to a couple of the local school uh counties here yeah we're splitting um, it down three ways yeah that kind of where the kids go to schools yep. and stuff like that around here um to help the schools out and also a veteran organization around here a yep. local one so uh there there will be no profit right uh, yeah on this whatsoever none of the all the proceeds are going to be donated and uh you don't have to play the games and stuff like that if you just want to donate to those uh organizations and stuff like that that's fine too um we just really wanted to kind of give back. There's a lot of us that's moved into this area here yep. in the last three years, um, a lot, and steady more coming. And so we really want to do our part for our, the local community that yeah. has welcomed us and also just let them know that we, we come here to make the community better. Right. You, you know what I mean? I think it's important to us. And come on, veterans, come on. Man. You know what I mean? I, we got a, a lot of you guys are veterans and stuff. That's right. and we got a lot in our community that are veterans. And I'm going to tell you right now, without them, there is none of this. That's right. So, so very important to us. Those are, those are two causes. Kids, you know, education, kids, getting kids outdoors, all that other stuff. And veterans is two really, really, really big things to all of us in the community. Yep. Um, it, it, there's not one person in our community that's not going to uh, really feel the same way we do, passionate about yeah. uh, helping kids and helping veterans. And sometimes so. YouTubers kind of get a bad rap for you know just being YouTubers and putting a camera in everybody's face and stuff yeah. like that. So when, when some people of the community hear the word YouTuber, they automatically think negative. So it's another good way yeah. to be able to show some positive light well, on that. Well, it's something well. new, yep. right? It's, an, it's, a new, it's a new way of life. You know what I mean? It's not something that was 20 years ago. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Stuff like that. And it, well, new is scary to people. You know, so if they don't understand it, then a lot of times it, it will cast a negative light. Right. You know, so it, it's easier to fear something than just accept it. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes. There's a. There's also so other than the dunk tank, there's going to be one more activity that uh, that will require a donation. Uh, and this activity is for all my trolls is pieing your favorite youtuber in the face 
We're gonna have whipped cream pies uh, because, well, a lot of you have pointed out to me that shaving cream is just gonna burn your eyeballs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so whipped cream is uh, what we're gonna be using, and for five dollars per pie, you will be able to pie your favorite YouTuber in the face, and everybody uh, should be participating in the pie to the face. So uh, if you wanna pie old bobblehead with Jeff, or if you wanna pie Miss Lindsay with Into the Mist, you're gonna get your opportunity. I have a funny feeling, which I, I greatly appreciate that we switch to whipped cream instead of uh, shaving cream. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have a funny feeling that there's going to be a big old line to, uh, to put a pie, a pie in my face. I, I just can, have a feeling. I can guarantee you, off the rip, there's already going to be about 10 to 15 pies coming your way just from my family and SLR. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, everybody want Cut your own carrot. Everybody wanting to pie, pie old, old big old come on. <laughs> so but I'm excited about calls. Yeah, it's fun. And uh, I'll be in the dunk tape as well. And I'm going to go on to tell you, if I'm in that dunk tape, I'm going to be talking Mo Junk in a little bit. Hey. Yeah, don't miss. <laughs> don't miss because I'm going I'm to make you look bad. I'm going to make you so mad that you just want to dunk me. I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to talk. Well, I'm talking smack. You gonna dunk me? Boy, I'm gonna toss some smack to you. <laughs> uh, something else that's gonna be going on there is that we're gonna be uh, participating in a 50-50 cash raffle. Yes. Um, and we're gonna do this four times throughout the day on Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. Uh, and then we're gonna do it again at 12 p.m., at 2 p.m., and we're gonna end it one more time at 4 p.m. So a total of four draws, your chance to take home half of whatever we gather up in between those times. Yeah, if it's a thousand dollars, you get to walk away with five hundred. Man, five hundred. That, that's pretty cool. And, and keep in mind, none of these things are going to be. I don't want you to feel like you're pressured in to do anything. No. I don't want you to feel like you're coming There's here to have to spend of money. No spending activities. Yes. In food. You know what I mean? That, that's at your discretion. And, and honestly, you can sit there and watch all your favorite YouTubers get pies in the face. And that's going to be fun, too. absolutely free. Yeah. You get all your pictures. And, uh, and speaking of food, we're also going to be doing a, a lunch break from 12.15 to 1.15. Which means that I don't get to eat. Well, you'll yeah, you're gonna get a snack pack and sit on your way. <laughs> Maybe you can come in for a little lunch break and then gather it up, some a hot dog chip and a, and a water, and head yeah. back on out. Yeah. Because listen to this. See, it either works when you're in the grocery. If you are not wanting to have hot dogs, chips, water, and soda, you will be urged to bring your own lunch for Saturday. Yes. Um, but there will be hot dogs, chips, water, maybe a couple sausages here and there. But mainly, it's gonna be hot dogs, chips, water, and soda. We'll have some soda for yeah. you. Maybe some tea. Uh, but that's going to be lunch. Um, also, after lunch, uh, starting off the speakers at 1.15 will be Jeff at Bobblehead Homestead. Yeah. Uh, at 2.15, it will be Drew with Drew's Lens and Drew's Lens Reacts. Uh, and then at 3.15, myself and Lissa with Drifting Dreamers 5 are going to give the closing speakers, um, and which we will probably reiterate a lot of been what's happening and, and going over to what's happening and stuff like that. Congratulating people, thanking um, people. Yeah, especially oh, uh, especially congratulating and thanking some people. I actually, uh, I'll tell you about it at the end of this. I have a, a special a special award I am making and that I want to give to somebody, so it would be pretty cool. Nice. Um, and then keep in mind, this whole entire time while people are doing talks and giving presentations, there's going to be all these other activities to do, so you're not going to be bored or if you just want to – watch one particular person you're not going to be forced to to watch everybody else for activities and there's plenty of space for socializing and yep. gathering in groups and, and and stuff like that um at 6 30 that night we are going to be doing a free dinner um and that dinner it's a good one it's going to be including ribs chicken some sausage uh, and if you want to bring a side to donate, you are more than welcome to donate. Look at it. You are popular yeah. this morning. Now the countryest of all cures is calling Man, me. Them country roads get cured. Yeah, I sent him to, uh, or he sent me to voicemail earlier this morning. Now I'm sending him to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you would like to bring a side dish or, or something like that, you are more than welcome to. But I would like to point out again, please don't feel the need that you have to bring anything but if you want to bring a side dish or a snack yeah, or a if cake anybody or a cookie, wants to contribute to snacks you and, are more and, than and welcome. drinks and and 
say like paperware like cups and stuff like that if, if you choose to and want to you can we're definitely not going to turn it away because it would probably be needed yeah um but there's there's you don't have to do none of that <clears throat> at all now something else that we're going to be doing on saturday and we're going to be doing this throughout the day are raffles we're going to be having two big different kinds of raffles going on at this time we're going to be having a free raffle uh, and everyone who comes to the meetup will uh, come to the raffle area. You're going to get a name tag, and once you write your name on your name tag, you are going to be given. Hey. Hey. Hey, girl. If you want the stick? You can have it, but you got to get it off right there. Are we using that stick? Uh, no. I hope not. Oh, yeah. She's a terror. She's still here. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Everyone who puts their name on their name tag is going to receive a, t a raffle ticket. And that raffle ticket, are go you're going to have a chance to win items that are donated for free. Uh, these are items uh, that you don't have to pay for. Any of these tickets, we're going to be pulling random tickets throughout the day, and you're going to have a chance to win items like merchandise, come on homesteading merchandise, uh, merchandise from us, different parts of the Fram, other items that uh, have been sent in by subscribers are also going to be part of this giveaway, and that's going to be cool. You're also going to be given a different raffle ticket. And this raffle ticket, you got to have your name on your name tag, guys, or you're not going to receive your raffle ticket. This raffle ticket, you're going to receive one for free. And this is for the big ticket items. And these big ticket items include an e-trike brought to you by uh, by Mooncool. And uh, Mooncool do uh, donated uh, an e-trike for us. And uh, that's going to be an opportunity to win that. And a portable power bank with solar panels. And there's going to be some more surprise, uh, some more surprise things to win, but there are pricing for these tickets. These tickets are five dollars if you want an extra ticket. Um, if you want five tickets, it's going to be twenty dollars. So if you spend twenty bucks, you, pr you pretty much get a free ticket. Yeah. Um, and there's a big incentive to spend fifty dollars. If you spend fifty dollars, you're going to get fifteen tickets. So pretty much you're going to get five free tickets. That's a twenty-five dollar value just for free. And these are some big ticket items, guys. These are over a thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, that that trike was fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. And the other ones on up there. And as the, well. and the portable power bank yeah. is almost two thousand yeah. dollars with the so, solar panels. <laughs> so it's uh, you want to win them? I'm telling. You. Can I win them? So you cannot win them. <laughs> also, we cannot I win them. I can't win the fishing tournament. I can't win the trike. I can't get no backup batteries. We're going to make sure you guys have the opportunity to win these items. And uh, because you know why? Because this is what I thought of. I, I already got a trade. I, oh, and, no. Well, I thought, of, I thought of not this past meetup at Tin Keller, but when I went to Tin Keller two meetups ago, when it was the Mid-American meetup, yeah. I remember Lindsay went into the mist winning like half of the prizes. Yeah. Yeah. She won like half the prize. Yeah, she's she's pretty. Good. She won it this last one too, and wasn't even there. See what I'm saying? Wasn't even there. Lindsay, yeah. you do not get an opportunity to win any of these big ticket items. <laughs> She'll win it. I'm cutting her off before it even starts. <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, oh, and no, there's something else. And we got a surprise for you if you make it to the night, Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday uh, 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 uh. karaoke eight yeah. o'clock. And who's DJing it? What? We're going DJ. We're on DJ. Oh, <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jeff. Man, we gonna have us a good time. Uh, we gonna be wild. We're gonna be crunk. We are gonna get down. And uh, you never know who might we uh, we could talk into giving a tune. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna uh, we're gonna DJ it. There will be a sign up sheet. Um, for DJing, and then uh, in between, me and Mike will kind of DJ it, and you know, get the get the crowd hyped and ready to go. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. And we're and we're gonna take that as long as we are able to take that. I'll have to find out what the quiet yeah, time. We'll have to, there yeah. are quiet time hours, guys. Yeah. I, it's probably more likely around ten. Yeah, it's I gonna be think. about ten o'clock. But we're gonna fit in as many songs as we can get in until then, and uh, it's gonna be an absolute great time. Yeah. Sunday, after all Unless the Saturday we can get everybody shenanigans. around is partying with us. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, if we can get all of the people around us, we'll, we'll take it on through the night. Man. <laughs> uh, Sunday, after all the shenanigans, 
we're going to be doing another community breakfast for anybody who is still there. Uh, we're going to get some energy into us because uh, Sunday is going to be a cleanup, and I'll be, uh, I'll be there for most of the day cleaning up and waiting on uh, the rental company to come back and get all the, uh, the bounce house and the, uh, and the dunk tank and stuff like that. I'll be there that morning, but uh, then I will be playing Uber, taking family members back to the airport. Yep. Yeah, there's lots of family coming in. Man, yeah. there's lots of family. Yeah, Levi actually comes in Saturday. Dang, this uh, Saturday already? This Saturday. He'll be here until the day morning of the meetup, Friday. And then uh, I drop him off at the airport, and then I go straight to another airport and pick up my mom, brother, and sister-in-law. Mm. So mm. Uh, I'm going to be playing Uber first thing in the morning uh, of the meetup. And the last day of the meetup, I'm going to be playing Uber in the Dang. evening. So, yeah. That's a beast. Um, the only thing I have left is uh, lodging. Uh, by now, if you haven't already made lodging uh, accommodations, the, uh, the Waveland Park is pretty much sold out Friday night. Uh, there are some spots available still for Saturday night, but I believe there's only three or four spots available. Now, there are plenty of spots available at the outlet area. They're located in the park. It's just a separate campground located in, within the park. Um, there are spots available there. If you're not into camping itself, there are places at Mount Magazine. Mount Magazine is only 32 minutes away, guys. It's yeah. not very far. There are still some Airbnbs available in the area. Most of those are already taken up. Um, but Boonville, there is a small hotel. It is nothing great and fantastic, but there is a small hotel there, 26 minutes away. Russellville is uh, the next biggest town close to us, a little bit better hotels. 49 minutes away so there are some places still now yeah, there's options there are options. options so if you have not booked your plans yet you still can you can do it it's gonna be fun i i'm looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys that i haven't met with that i'm always talking to online and stuff like that i know a couple of people for <laughs> sure is coming and i'm uh, looking forward to that and man hey can i say something real quick i do want to uh, send out an apology I would like to send out an apology to your good friend Troy at Bar Run Forge. Yep. You gave him my contact information, and he reached out to me several, uh, several weeks ago about accommodation and lodging and stuff like that, and I did a terrible job of getting back to you. So from the bottom of my heart, I, I do apologize. I, man, I got it's You would not believe the never-ending list of emails and text messages. I have probably 30 unreturned text messages and 130 emails. I am... Now I understand what Big Mike at MT Homestead meant when it's just it's yeah you need a team <laughs> of yeah. email answer <laughs> yeah it, it it's a lot and, and you know as this thing goes on it, it will fine tune it and everything else and uh, this the first one so it's a lot of unknowns uh, but you're doing good thank you're you. doing good yeah well, We'll make it do what it do, boo boo. Come we'll on. We'll make it do what it do. And uh, speaking of Troy, but old Bar Run Forge, uh, he has reached out to me. He they will be here from the 16th or I think it's the 16th to the 18th. Yeah, I, I believe, and they're going to be staying at at, Mount the, Magazine. at the Mount Magazine. Yeah. So um, I do believe there's still a couple of cabins up at Mount Magazine if you got a big group of people or yep. whatever. Yep. So. Uh, there's definitely options. The cabins are a lot more uh, spacious, and they are a lot more secluded, so you got your own privacy, but they, they are a little bit and more dollars. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, pr they're a little proud of them, but the views you can't beat. Man, jaw-dropping. Yeah, jaw-dropping. What are you doing? Look at her. She's pulling the rope on the kayak. Are yeah. you ready to go kayaking? Are you ready to go? You ready? ready to go kayaking? I'm ready to go kayaking. Um, Domino will be at the meetup. Nice. Um. I'm going to have to find him a babysitter um, while I'm out on the water um, dealing with all of that. I might take him on the boat, but more than likely, I'll let him hang around the event. Uh, right. There's always somebody willing to hang out with Domino. Yeah. Um, he was the biggest star at Lake Ten Killer when I got there. Nobody wanted to talk to me, just Domino. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's about it with 34, 35 wow. minutes. Yeah. You know, that's I'll get big going. One. Once we get going, we get going. Yep. But I think that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, email DD5. All of his contact information is in his about page. Drifting and, uh, Dreamers every 5. Video. Uh, at gmail.com. At gmail. If you have any more questions, uh, it just eliminates a step, right? Because 
if you know if you email me then you got to wait until I read it and it might be a day or two and then I have to get it to him and then it might be a day or two before he reads it next thing you know it's the meetup and you emailed it and get yeah. read so see the butterfly around my head now I yeah. got the butterfly shirt on <laughs> but I think this is going to be a really really cool event guys I, th- I it's amazing I, I, I'm excited I'm excited for it I'm ready for it and uh, I'm also uh, ready for the day and then I'm also ready to, to move on through it because got a lot to do, <laughs> a lot to no. do for the spring. There ain't nothing to do here. We got a couple things to do there for the spring. Um, but I'm also really excited about uh, my family coming in. Um, this is the longest stretch I've been without my family. I, I have seen my my parents uh, in between, but uh, October is the last time I seen uh, Levi for his birthday. Right. So uh, this is the longest I've ever been with, without my kids and stuff like that. So to see one of them. I'm stoked. And also, I get the whole week with him before the meetup, which is cool. Yeah. It's going to be busy and stuff, but I am going to take several days and just kind of just hang out with my son. Yeah. Um, last time he came for the summer, it was go time with the tiny house and everything. We had a good time. We got to do stuff, but definitely getting him out on the boat. Without a doubt. Yes. Because remember, guys, I got 10 trips I got to make before I winterize it again. So, uh, about to have two in the next two weeks because the meetup. And also with my son. Yep. So nice. So there, I'll be at number three. I'll be seven away. Mm. You got anything else? Uh, well, just what's here behind you. We're actually waiting on Gumby right now. I think he's slow rolling it, so he ain't got. I think he's waiting on the rain to get here, so he ain't got to do no work. Yeah. But uh, what he doesn't know, if we can't get these holes drilled outside, I got some stuff on the inside to do. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, We'll pop a tent. We'll keep the rain off him while he's digging. Huh. Yeah. You know, we need that water anyways. Do a dry pack. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Love every single one of y'all. Do something nice for somebody today. Reach out to somebody you ain't talked to in a while. Take a step closer to your goals. See ya.